And we're live. It's Adam Robinson, founder and CEO of Retention.com. Over the past few months, I've been noticing a strange thing happening. I'm being forwarded chats between people in DTC Slack channels who don't use our product, talking about how they've heard that we mess up people's deliverability and that Clavio is going to shut us down. Two things. Number one, Clavio just spent a month reviewing our consent collection practices and looking at every single piece of data that we have ever sent them over the last 3.5 years in evaluating on performance and data quality. And they told us yesterday that they were not going to interfere with their customers using our product. Uh, secondly, I certainly understand this deliverability concern and the hesitation around using our product if you don't know and you've never used it. However, I know for a fact, because I've been doing this for three and a half years, that the worry is disproportionately large relative to the actual risk of using our product in the way that we make you use it. Problems can happen, but when they do, they're almost always the result of someone either being too small to use our product, and we didn't filter them out properly, which we, are, we have stopped now, or they are not doing what we tell them to do. Or, number three, they're a high-risk account going in with something like a 0.6 or 0.8 total spam rate on their active list to start with. None of those things are ever going to work with our product. We have stopped onboarding people who have those qualities. Regardless of whether the reason is logical or accurate, there is a wall of skepticism around deliverability that needs to get broken down. The market needs to believe that what we actually experience and what our customers actually experience is that while our products enable an aggressive use case, we know exactly how to implement in a way that is safer than applesauce. So what are we doing to ensure that uh, this message proliferates through the market? Well, we are creating a zero tolerance deliverability guarantee, meaning we will have zero deliverability issues between now and your end. Uh, and what exactly does that mean? Well, if a deliverability issue happens, if you have a problem with Clavio and your Clavio account, um, we are going to refund the brand 100%. If an agency partner helped us onboard that brand, we're going to pay the agency partner. We're going to cut them a $10,000 check. Not even think about it. Um, that is how confident I am that we can deliver a safe and valuable solution to both brands and agencies. Um, the final note is that there are five qualifying conditions to this. Uh, number one, like I said, the account is in good standing and wasn't previously a high risk account by our judgment. Number two, proper list hygiene practices are set up that we deem acceptable, which do not change. Number three, the brand implements our tech using the Shopify integration exactly as we instruct. Number four, they implement mailing strategies and email flows for retention.com that are exactly as we instruct. And number five, they accept our throttling recommendations based upon the size and existing email volume. If the brand does all of those five things, it is mathematically impossible to have a deliverability issue. Um, and that's what we're doing to break down this wall of skepticism around deliverability that should not exist but does for some reason because people just love to talk who don't know. Uh, I am Adam Robinson. Follow me if you want to see me build a unicorn in public. Signing off.